things have not gone exactly how we'd expected after the start to the season. There you can see the results of our last three matches. We also have some transfer news to look at. We'll get into that in a little more detail right after the intro. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Episode 41, Football Manager 21, our single team save with DeGroff Shop. Up the orange as we're trying to get another Dutch Arita VC side up to the top of the pack that has been historically dominated by just a handful of clubs. If you do like what you see, please hit the thumbs up button. Give the video a like. Helps more people get eyes on the video. And thanks to your efforts, we are averaging double digit views as of the time I'm recording this for the last three weeks. So much appreciated. Uh, at the end, I will go in and give uh, some welcomes to new people subscribing to the channel. Uh, but let's get into it. We've got some transfer business to talk about and some results. Uh, we had a 1-1 draw with AZ Melvin Gerber on the penalty. PSV beat us 2-0. They even had a player sent off in the 26th minute. And we could not do anything. And then we drew Hertha from the Bundesliga in the uh, Euro Cup 2 League Path 4th round. <sighs> That's a mouthful. Uh, we got goals from uh, Muhlenstein on his debut. Kaisela got another goal and Grutunk with a stoppage time goal to equalize at 3-3 in front of 40,000 fans at Hertha. Today we're going to be uh, looking at highlights of Feyenoord in the league, and then we'll be playing our home leg, the second leg match, against Hertha, sitting on a 3-3 draw, three away goals. Hopefully that gives us the advantage. Let's take a look at transfers real quick. So starting at the beginning of August, we loaned out uh, Militovic, uh, one of our young goalkeepers. We moved on uh, Marion Sedelak to Denbosch. For seven hundred and twenty-five thousand, uh, he is a young attacking winger, Czechoslovakian. Uh, Henry Vanderhorst goes to Upen for three hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars. Twenty-two-year-old Dutch defender, and Hans van Geldorp goes off to Utrecht for two, a quarter, almost a quarter million dollars. He is a eighteen-year-old Dutch goalkeeper, three-star potential, just not in the mix. And some of our goalkeepers became available because we have signed another backup goalkeeper in David Weiss. Uh, he is a 19-year-old Austrian, pretty solid three-and-a-half star potential, so he's going to be our new deputy. Uh, he did sign as a backup, as you can see there. Valued at 300000 and he will be in the mix there. We also signed Kalichi Okachi, from Charlotte in the uh, MLS for 4.2, 24-year-old Nigerian right back, can play across the entire back line, three and a half star current, a little room for improvement, four star potential. He is lacking a little natural fitness, but very good physicals. Uh, crossing is at least average. He can mark, he can tackle, and he can pass. So he could come into the middle, even though he's only 5'11", I'd rather him not. Uh, but he can play left or right back. So uh, he'll fill in in those spots. As I mentioned, we're playing Feyenoord in the league. Let me go play that. We'll be right back to look at those highlights. Pretty evenly played match. Um, we are show Oh, it's Chick-fil-A in goal. We are showing a real concern, and I don't know if this is due to the winter update, but that was a poor effort by Delcroix uh, as Shepard Dunk scores the opener in the 14th minute. Put us in a 1-0 hole. It was only a few minutes later, Grutunk out to Kinjik. Resnick's making a run. He was barely on sides. He taps it in as he started in place of Vicario. He gets the goal and equalized. They had a player sent off in the 52nd minute, and we just could not find the breakthrough. 
very, very disappointed. So that now has us sitting ninth position, five points from four matches, and we are just in a nosedive. Uh, hopefully we can pull up and pull out of this before it is too late. But with that being said, let's get on to our second leg match with Hertha. All right, we're going to go with Delcra in goal. Krujan, Gerber, Kaisela, and Okachi making his first appearance on video. On the back line, Grutunk and Meyer in the mid. Cervenka and Resnick on the wings. Krenjic and Vicario. All right, a couple of the guys were motivated, but not too many. All right, we're going to encourage the team here. All right, we're in the blue and white again. Hertha is in the red. Oh, and he breaks through and scores in the ninth minute. Gabriel Karp. And we are in a 1-0 hole and 4-3 on aggregate. Now, the good news is we did score three away goals, but I was not expecting... Oh, Delcroix looked horrible on that one. Not good at all. Looks like the defenses are being solid, but we've given away a penalty just outside the box. And Delcroix gets beat by Leonard DeVos, his first goal of the season. And things are not looking good. We may be in for a short-lived trip throughout Europe. Up to Krenjic. Squared in. Vicario was there, but the defender beating. Gerber gets beaten over the top. Matumbo, and I think Delcroix knocked that one aside. Thank goodness. And we are facing another set-piece opportunity already in a 2-0 hole. Good header out. Can we get some runners for Krenjic? Defenders are collapsing. Resnick is over there if he can hold it up. He does force the corner. We're going to demand more. Grutunk into the box. Gerber goes for the header. Resnick can't. Oh, Resnick. Was there a foul there? Yep, looked like it. Ah. Four shots, four on target for Hertha. We've got two shots. Still looking for our first one of any meaning. We're going to demand more again. We're up to six shots, but still not a single one on target. I'm going to thrash my arms. We're going to go with a tactical change here. We're going to move to a 4-2-3-1. Vicario drops from striker back into that number 10. Nine shots. Oh, my God. Krusian's not playing well. Let's bring on Malmsteen. Cervenka is not looking good. Let's bring Vigneron on for him. We're going to confirm. And then we're going to demand more again. We're attacking here. There's just nothing developing here. All right. Jeez, another freaking set piece. Meyer is a central mid. Let's bring on Aaron. We're going to make him an advanced playmaker. And Grutunk, we're just going to make a true central midfielder. Don't want two playmakers there. Cleared out. Intercepted by Mullen. That was possibly an opportunity. Now Grutunk is dead. And we have four minutes left in our Europe campaign for this season. Not good. Not good at all. Far from pleased. Rainy day. I don't know if that played a role here, but we get 117000 for that. But that's that's not good. 
I expected a little bit better. Hertha probably wasn't a good draw for us there. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, they're fourth in the Bundesliga currently. Pick to finish roughly mid-table. Definitely good reputation side, so, I mean, I don't guess there's any, any harm in losing to them. Much better reputation than us. I mean, we're a three-star. Hertha's a four-and-a-half star. Yeah, so I don't think there was nothing we could have done there. All right, well, that at least takes Europe out of the question. I guess we, uh, we have Dutch Cup coming up. Let's come back for Sparta highlights and Dutch Cup first-round action. That gives us a good run of games to see if we can find our footing because we have yet to find a win since that opening match against Fortuna. And I don't know if we need to maybe look at tactics, the players that we're starting, but I will dig into it. And we'll see the results that come later. Again, hit that like button if you like what I'm doing here. Much appreciated. Oh, real quick, I always like to give the welcome to new subscribers. Etienne Stecklenberg, welcome. Justin Sharp, thanks for all your comments. Um, they're all the same, but that's okay. You're making comments on every video, so I do appreciate it. Malcolm Clark, welcome to the channel. Route 1 FM, welcome to the channel. Skittles Bonds, welcome to the channel. I think that's far enough back. And I don't know, sometimes I don't always get a notification for new subscribers, but I uh, wanted to give a special shout out to Piet Jan. I hope I pronounced that right, but he is actually a DeGroff Shop fan and uh, just came across the videos. So uh, I, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. But uh, welcome to the channel and appreciated talking to you in the comments a uh, couple of episodes back. Guys, we'll see you uh, in a couple of days for the next video. Uh, but don't forget, daily football manager content, Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. Central Time in the States and 2 p.m. in the afternoon, London Time. Make your adjustments from there. See you guys. Bye.